we didn't leave that light on. We left the living room and the TV just so people think we're there. And then my girl went to the door and she could hear the guy and she could see him. Like, he's in there the whole time. <laughs> Clear my sinuses. Shit, so Do the goddamn intro. Bro. Shut up. What's good, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> What's good, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Posted Podcast. I am the Postman. We got Mo Martinez, Brose, and Lo. What is that, dog? <laughs> you ruined production, dog. It's a bottle cap. It's a bottle cap. It's his nipple ring. Mm. What? <laughs> my uncle says he has two, and then he would ring them oh. on a bell, and that's how the bitches knew it was time. <laughs> First topic I wanted to talk about is another Reddit story I found. Yes. This was uh, a girl named Sahaya. I was very young, two years old. We lived in a row house, a row home. Mobile home? Row home. In row? South, South Baltimore. Hmm. Me, my mom, and my stepdad. Uh, stuff, uh, stuff kept going missing. My parents worked a lot, and I went to a nanny during working hours. So they just assumed the other had, had moved it. And didn't really think anything seriously amiss. One day, they came home from work, and and we were cleaned out. They took electronics, valuables, even my Garfield pillow for some reason. Bitches. So they called the cops. <laughs> the pasta pillow. Two cops showed up and did a thorough sweep of the house. Our basement had a dirt floor and only one light bulb on the right side of the stairs near the washer and dryer. The left side of the basement was super dark and only used for storing old boxes. Well, someone had constructed a false brick wall on that side and was living behind it. Oh, fuck that. Oh. As it turns out, it was our landlord's... As it turns out, it was our landlord's mentally ill nephew who had gotten a key somehow. He likely never meant any harm, but he was ill and an addict to boot. Addict to boot. I don't know what that is. When they caught him, he was sent to a mental facility. Where'd all their shit go? Bro, that's a scary movie. All behind the wall. It's actually a show about... It was all it's behind like the a wall? tunnel. I guess it's so. Mentally I mean, where else is he gonna... It's creepy. Well, first of all, she got a great fucking memory because she said, I was very young. I was two years old. Well, I'm the, sure the family the parents, talked about it. Yeah. Like, oh, I was about to say. <laughs> I, had, I remember stuff from when I was two. Not me. <laughs> Not me. But I got bit by a goose. What the fuck I did last Tuesday? <laughs> German cheater. <laughs> <laughs> we all got bit by an animal. Yeah. Yeah, to have, to have I think the, the the false wall is probably the scariest thing. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, because they planned, you know, that was a whole thing. It was... It's like the boy, you know, the guy that lives in the walls? Yeah. Oh. Have you seen it? Oh, the boy? Yeah. That movie is... Have you seen the second one? I, no. li- I just watched it. Crazy. Yeah, it's fucking... It's like that kind of... It's like, say, you know, I go to like the closet right here. And mm-hmm. then there's like a door, and then like I manage oh. to open it, and there's someone in there. That's fucking Fuck creepy. That. Like, shit, dude. That's fucking I'm losing my shit. Oh, that. Oh, I wish I could talk about this. It was creepy. So, so I just got married, right? In Hawaii. Congratulations. Yes, yes. Mazel tov. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not sponsored by Harritos. Not sponsored. <laughs> I'm about to drink some. Um, we. We had the. Uh, we got Airbnb. It fit 15 people in the house. The cool thing was like whole family was there. So your family and her family. And her family, yeah. So they were there for like the weekend. So we get home at night. And it turns out the Airbnb, the owner, was inside the house the whole time. One of Ew. the rooms. Which was like Wait, super what? creepy. Yeah. You didn't tell me this? Oh my Tell God. Them. Okay, calm down, pillow talk. <laughs> yeah, I thought Before I we went to bed? You didn't, what? No, baby, I told you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. Okay, daddy. So, yeah, so we got home, right? It was like daddy. night, and then the light was on. And my dumbass, like, my sense of direction is terrible. So I was like, oh, we left the kitchen shit on or whatever. Um, she's like, no, that's the bedroom. And I was like, but it's been closed. And we didn't leave that light on. We left the living room and the TV just so people think we're there. And then my girl went to the door, and she could hear the guy, and she could see him. Like, he's in there the whole time. And how many days have you already have have you been there? Two, two days. And the last two days when me and her were alone, like so, like the last night we didn't really enjoy ourselves. Yeah. Because we were like so scared, like we we packed our shit. 
Oh my god. We've locked I the doors upstairs. I would have fucking reported that to Airbnb. Yeah, no, it's just so, like. Well, usually when. Because cause I've heard that like people would, who will rent out like their. Yeah, you know, people do it. Like yeah. a back house. They do thing. it. Yeah, but but they'll let the person know. Yeah, he didn't let us know. It wasn't like in the con. It wasn't like somewhere. Nowhere in the closet. That boy saw you clap. (laughs) There was no clapping the last night. (laughs) There was none. No, No, by that time they're like, "Fuck this!" We just because I didn't want to sleep because I was like, "Where's this fucking creep?" Just comes upstairs and open. There's like no locks really, kind of. It is, but he's the owner. He's the owner of the house. I'm a fucker has a key. You should have barricaded the door and just. How'd you lock it? Like how'd you? Well, we just locked it, but I mean, we just oh, the, like... there was locks. Okay. There was locks. But, I mean, he's a homeowner. Yeah, yeah, he. So it's just like it's you know. probably just like this too, where you could probably, probably stick had cameras like a... up the whole time. Oh, that too. <gasps> he saw some. <laughs> he, <laughs> he saw, saw cameras. some. No, my wife is really big on that. She checks everywhere, like for cameras. Damn. Even like hotels we go to, she's just yeah, like shining a light. So when you guys got to the Airbnb, the last and y'all night, looked yeah. around. Yeah. There, there was one door that was locked that you could Yeah, get. like you can't open it from the inside. And it's like, it's right by where the kitchen was at. And in the, in the living room. Like. I wonder what he did. did. Like, did he barricade himself in there? Like, did he have a bathroom? Basically, yeah, because he didn't come out. What? Damn, he'll just send my name, dog. What is he talking about? How do yeah. you hear that still over this? We're here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm an engineer, bro. I get paid for these ears. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm over here deaf. Yeah, but that was probably one of the creepiest. You're whistling into the mic with your nose. <laughs> that was creepy. Like, cause it, I thought he was going to break in. But... Did you that say something creepy. to him after? No, we didn't say that. You're just like, what's the point? We woke up early as soon as we saw the sunrise and we were gone. Yeah. Like, I'm, surpri- I'm surprised you stayed. Like, I wouldn't as, have. as soon as you... Yeah, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. Nope, I'm out. That we said. It's Hawaii. Kind of, it's kind of like nowhere else to go. Kind of. The beach. I would have found another Could have been a beach bum for a day. You crazy, bro. You think I'm going to be in It's Hawaii. <laughs> Huh? It's Hawaii. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, but that was that's probably the creepiest like story I have close to that. Is a guy was downstairs the whole time and I was just like That's fucking creepy. It's just it was weird. Imagine if you're like sleeping and it's like three in the morning and then you just hear footsteps going up the Bro, the house is huge. Like, Imagine it, not even like that, you just hear No, fuck off, wow. dude. Hell no. Gone, bro. Uh. <laughs> fuck off. Hell no. Oh yeah, I wanna give a shout out to Casey's Creations. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. That's his sister. L- let him know what she does. She'd be making tumblers. Ooh. She'd be making desserts. Ooh. All types of food. That girl mad creative. Where do we find her? IG. Casey's Creations. Instagram over his face. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you everyone for watching another episode of the Posted Podcast. I am the Postman. We're here with Mo Martinez, Rose, and Lo. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace out and stay posted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if no one have seen that, she would have. I saw you slowly it. sucking up the peach. And then they just, just... Pause. Is that what I heard, bro? Is that what I heard? I... <laughs>